Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today I'm going to demonstrate how I made this really cool effect uh, and what you're going to see here used to be very very difficult to do even with Filmora uh, but now with the new Filmora 12, the AI and um, a lot of other new features uh, they made this fairly easy and we're going to go through it step by step and um, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and mute the audio and lock those tracks. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is lock the tracks and hide the tracks for the special effects. We're going to come back to that in a minute. In order to make this work, you need to film yourself some live action or take some stock footage. Uh, you can do it on a on a green screen. So let's say you want to take this girl or, or a guy and um, have this effect move them from point A to point B, which is kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, so you'll need to film them on a on a green screen, or just film them on some sort of uh, area where the background is pretty consistent. Uh, in color and not too dull, not too bright. So just pick a pick a spot, like maybe lean it up against a, a house or something when, without the window, just the wall part. And I think you can achieve this. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to show you with some stock media, as I usually do. We have to separate the girl from the background. So take the footage that you filmed or take your stock media, which is what we're going to do. So I've got this image here. We're just going to bring it down. We'll keep the project settings, which is 4K for me. And the first thing I want to do is just kind of spread this away from the, um, the other example so we can look at it independently. So here's a girl. I'm also going to bring the preview window down to right before it shrinks. So we can get a pretty good preview of what's happening. So the first thing we want to do is get this girl out of this picture. Okay, so this is a girl, and this is what it looks like. So that's the stock image. It's, she's standing in front of a whole different set of buildings. Let's get her out of there. That's pretty easy. You can do it with a mask, uh, but now that AI Tools is included and AI Portrait is here, let's go ahead and use it, and voila, we're done. It's as easy as that. Boy, I'm going to tell you what, guys, in the early days of Filmora uh, and some other programs out there, some other editors, <laughs> uh, that would have been a half a day's job, but it's already finished. So she's gone. She's out of the picture. Um, and that's all we need for that. Now we need to put some background behind it. So I've got this really nice static image um, here, and we're just going to drop it behind her. We'll stretch it out. To match her movements and I think in the um, demonstration I think I moved her over a little bit and maybe even scaled her down so let's move her over give her a slight scale bring her down but anyway this is regardless you can do whatever you need to do to match up your video to your background so there we go we've now got a girl cut from one scene plastered in another scene moving around. Let's take that background image and crop to fit. So now it fills the screen. All right, now all we need to do is grab our effects. I'm going to match a mask to the effect. You can also match the effect to the mask. Let's go ahead and stretch this out a little bit so it's all we see. And I am going to unlock the top track for a second because um, I need to put some stuff up here to show you this. So let's just get that out of the way for now. And we'll leave the music tracks uh, blocked. We don't need to hear any of that right now. Now, I downloaded this film effects pack from Filmora. Uh, it's called Epic Film Effects Pack Volume 2. And included in it are some pretty cool effects. We're going to choose this one. And we're going to set that one right over top of her. I'm just going to quickly scroll and show you what it looks like. So it's just a big old ring that's just sitting there out in the middle of the screen. All right, let's select that big old ring that's sitting out there in the middle of the screen. And we're going to just shrink it in a little bit. 
a little bit. Just kind of, we just want to make sure we're covering the bottom half over there. And we want to go ahead and bring it basically off the screen. All right, guys. Let's back up a step and see how we did it over here. And we'll reproduce it. So as you can see right here, there's no keyframe and there's no mask. But we're allowing the green circle to come down. As it touches her head, we split the clip. Let's go ahead and do that. So first thing we want to do is bring the effect off the screen. Just off the screen. Next thing we want to do is keyframe that so that it's coming down and then we'll, that way we know where to stop it. So right now, we keyframe that position, bring the playhead to the end, highlight that green effect, bring it straight down off the screen, or right to the bottom of the screen anyway, and keyframe that. So there you go. Let's watch. Down we go. Now what we want to do is stop it right at the top of her hair. Right there is where we're going to start our mask. Set your mask to cover the girl right at the top of her hair, right about where the green matches up. With the mask highlighted, make sure that your mask is highlighted on the clip. Uh, just go to position and set your first keyframe. Go to the end of the effect and set our last keyframe. We are keyframing the mask here. Okay, so let's go back and grab that mask. And if you have trouble grabbing things, because uh, sometimes one thing will get in the way of the other things, just lock tracks, lock tracks until you can get the mask back. There's our mask. And what we're trying to do is to keyframe that down. So we've already got the first position. Now we're, we're working on the last position. So just bring it straight down and off the screen. There it is. It is keyframed. Let's go back. Unlock a few things and see what it looks like. All right. You notice that the green is a little faster than the mask. The green is a little faster than the mask. That's very easy to fix. All we got to do is adjust speed. This one is running too fast. So we're just going to go over here to speed. And I think for this one, we don't need to do any ramping. We just need to uh, slow it down ever so slow. Now, let me just get a reference here. What did I do over there? I did a 0 0.7. Uh, we'll try that. Zero point seven. Let's see if that'll be slow enough for us. They don't match up too good. I think what we'll also do is adjust the height of the first keyframe of the effect, which is pretty easy to do. We just you can just go on with your mouse, click on that first keyframe. Let's get right on it. I think what we'll do is just bring this down here. So we'll start position right there. Let's see what we did. There we go. We're very close. Uh, all we got to do is adjust the, the, this a little bit, slow it down, speed it up, and get the mask into play. But I'm not going to bother with all that right now. You've seen how we do it in the demo. Um, and this is just another way. And uh, right there, I would probably uh, bring this down even a hair more. We'll see what that looks like. And there we go. I think we got it. Okay, so it needs to be sped up slightly. We can take the speed back to custom. I'm thinking uh, 0 0.8. Let it play. And there you go, guys. That is how you can use Filmora 12 to make this amazing masking effect. I love this program. If you haven't tried it, Give it a try. I think there's a link in my description somewhere. But I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you got something out of this. I know this was a little bit more of an advanced tutorial, but really this is what it's all about. This is why you're using Filmora, to make these advanced things easy. Um, 
you don't believe me, go try to do this kind of thing in another program. Uh, I have tried. I find it quite difficult. It's very easy with Filmora. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.